on the Eagles. All right, you want to make picks? Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot we've got to do that. Yeah, let's do that. I was getting ready to wrap up the show. Uh, I yes. Hey, uh, I can tell. How about, how about go ahead and give me your five picks right quick, and then I'll end it with my five picks, and we'll get out of here. All right, Colts minus three uh, at the Texans. Uh, without Will Fuller, I think this offense is going to have a very big problem scoring. Uh, somebody in the comments, I don't remember who it was, you can you can out yourself in a minute, talked about how it's tough trusting Phillip Rivers. Yes, that's not something I enjoy doing, but uh, this is not a quarterback battle. This is a one team is far superior battle, and the head coach on the other side is far superior. Give me the Colts, minus three. Um, Seahawks, minus 10 uh, at home against the Giants. I think this Giants team is not very good. I think the Seahawks team is actually much, much improved compared to the team that started the season. Um, on defense, you mean? On defense, on yeah. defense. And offensively, they're the same as they've always been. They're going to put up points. Um, they're going to drop the ball off to DK. They're going to drop the ball off the locket. They're going to let them go make plays. And last week, Chris Carson came back, and Chris Carson was running like a mother. And uh, it was exciting <laughs> to see. And uh, I like the Seahawks. <sighs> Give me the football team. You can find this number all over the place right now. I did look. You actually can find it at eight and a half somewhere. That's insane. That's ridiculous. I found it at ten and a half. I'm going to take it at ten and a half um, against the Steelers team that I still have no idea how they're undefeated. Just the horseshoe firmly supplanted in their rectum. Um, at some point in time, that's going to drop out. And uh, and I like the the football team at ten and a half. I like th- betting teams that are coming off just huge embarrassing losses the next yeah. week that I think are pretty good. Okay. Okay. I get to take the Raiders coming off of just an ass whipping and they get to play the jets. Now I got to lay seven and a half. I got to lay more than the touchdown, but this is kind of the least the jets have been like a dog for a while. Yes. So it's not double digits and, uh, and, and give me the, give me the Raiders, give me the Vegas Raiders to beat them by more than a touchdown. And then my last pick, I'm taking my Brownies plus six. I think this Titans team can't stop the run. Every team that has fought hard against them and where they lost early, where they got upset early by teams far worse than them were when they could run the football on them. And I absolutely think the Browns can run the football on them. And I think they will run the football on them. Now, will they be able to stop the 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 Titans run game? Probably not. Will they be able to to, to slow down a Brown? Probably not. So, I, I think this is going to be a little higher scoring, and the only reason it might be low scoring is if they just both these teams matriculate the ball down the field and not have big plays. Um, not a lot so of possessions. Those those are my picks. My five uh, Raiders minus seven and a half at the Jets. Same reasons that you just gave. Um, I and the Jets just suck. I mean, my God, the Jets are awful. Um, I've got the Colts minus three. Same reasons that you just talked about. Lions at plus three at the Bears. I, I know that we're pulling for Chicago, all that good stuff, but this is another one of those situations. We've seen it twice this year already. The Lions were so glad to have Patricia gone. I think that they show up this week. So I am taking the Lions on the road. Uh, Saints minus two and a half at the Falcons. So many people on the Falcons this week. Uh, just, just ridiculous. Like, the Saints are the better football team. Just go with the better football team. Especially under a field goal. I mean, give me a friggin' break here. And finally, the Bengals plus 11 and a half at the Dolphins. I know this Dolphins team has got a fantastic defense. I get that. But I think the Bengals are going to be able to put up at least a little bit of a fight. And I, 11 and a half points just feels like way too much for this Dolphins team that can't seem to find the end zone right now. So, give me uh, give me the Bengals here. And, um, and yeah, that is going to wrap it up. Anything else we need to discuss today? Nope, that's it. That is it. Boy, we had a we had a nice long discussion about the Big Ten. If you missed that earlier, go back, download the podcast. Um, man, we, we are so tired of this college football playoff system. So it it is what it is. Um, so with that said, let's get out of here. You guys in the chat, you're all fantastic. You're always fantastic. We certainly appreciate all of you. Keep sharing the show out. Uh, we had a record number of podcast downloads last month, and we certainly appreciate that. We, uh, we've we had a couple of people call us about doing features about the podcast and whatnot because of our record growth last month, and that's kind of cool. So uh, so we certainly appreciate you guys. Casey said, later play us. Good luck with the NCAA basketball. Hey, I appreciate that for sure. Um, doing well so far. Eight, two, and one on the year already. So with that said, uh, let's go on and hop out of here. Go to winningcureseverything.com. Go to sbrpicks.com slash NCAAF. And... Uh, 
And yeah, let's make sure that you take care of yourself, that you take care of each other. That's the most important thing. And, uh, and let's cash some tickets. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.